Hello everyone, I'm Farouk Mohammed. I'm a master's student at the University of Tunis at Chattanooga. And today I'll be presenting to you our paper on MMC-based distributed maximum power point tracking for photovoltaic systems. We'll start with a brief introduction about grid-connected photovoltaic systems, and then we'll talk about the proposed topology. Solar BB energy experienced tremendous growth over the past years. Just in 2016, almost half of the newly installed renewable energy power capacity is BB energy. But BV energy has some challenges or drawbacks, and one of those challenges is partial shading. The figure on the right side here is showing the centralized BV configuration, which is the most practiced uh, BV configuration. In this configuration here, BV modules are connected in series and parallel to form a large BV array. And this BV array is connected to a centralized DC AC converter with maximum power point tracking control to extract the maximum power. But in the event, or in the case of partial shading, the shaded module will experience a lower voltage compared to others module, which will affect the MPPT point of the whole system and will result in the performance losses. And at the same time, such system will experience mismatch losses between the parallel BV module strings. So we need a new advanced power electronic solutions to, uh, so to solve or tackle this problem and be able to extract the maximum power the whole time. Uh, the most used DC AC converter is two level voltage source converter, which is, has some drawbacks such as low power quality and low power rating. On the other hand, we have module multi level converter as one of the newly proposed topologies. It offers salient features such as modularity, scalability, high power quality output. The proposed topology is shown in the figure on the right side in which each PV module is connected to one sub-module on the MMC through a DC-DC converter uh, with MPPT control to extract the maximum power from each of those PV module. This slide here presents the control design blocks of the MMC. The figure on the left side is showing the MPPT algorithm, which is perturbed and observed. In this algorithm, it measure, we measure the voltage and current to calculate the power. And then we compare this power to the power from the previous time step. If it is higher, then we're going in the right direction. If it's slower, we need to reverse the direction of perturbation. And it goes like that until it locates the MPPT point. The figure on the right side is showing the AC output current control, which is used to, to, which is used to control the average of module capacitor voltages of the MMC to ensure no energy accumulates on the submodule capacitor. So this control circuit here takes the average submodule capacitor, VC uh, dash, and then it takes the, the reference value, and then it controls the measured value to the reference value using a PI controller. The output of this control circuit is the reference AC current, which is fed to the switching control of our MFC. This slide here presents the results. On the left side, the figure shows phase A upper arm submodule power and a radius. The power is shown by the blue curve and the radius is shown by the red curve. As we can see here, submodule 1 through submodule 4 are receiving 100% of their associated radiance, while submodule 4 and 5, 5 and 6 are receiving 20% of their associated radiance to simulate the partial shading. So each one of those submodule the, each one of those submodules are receiving their associated irradiance, but despite that irradiance, the power is tracking that irradiance the whole time. Uh, and hence, we, we were able to extract the maximum power and achieve independent MBBT. The figure on the right side is showing the MMC performance parameters. The first figure is showing the submodule voltage. And as we can see, the submodule voltage of phase A, the upper and, upper, and, the upper and lower arm, they are uh, tracking, they are traveling together the whole time, and uh, they are they are around their uh, nominal, which is 100 fold the whole simulation time. The next figure is showing the AC output current, and the last figure is showing the circulating current, which is minimized to zero. This paper can be concluded in three points. In the proposed topology, each BV module is connected to one sub module through a DC DC converter. We were able to achieve the maximum power extraction and the independent MBBT. And this paper proposed a novel submodule capacitor, average submodule capacitor uh, control 
Uh, the paper recommendations also can be summarized in three points. First one, we can develop an MMC-based system for integration of VBM battery to tackle the, the, inter, uh, the to tackle the intermittency challenge. The next uh, recommendation, we can investigate simultaneous connection of different DER such as battery, VV, and EV charger using just one MMC. And the last one, we need to test those topologies in Hill setup and uh, design a real hardware prototype. Thank you for your time and I hope you enjoyed reading the paper.